now welcome friends now we will start the study of plant anatomy anatomy is the structure the study of internal structure of plant so now father of plant anatomy is engrio while of animal anatomy anatomy is andrews bazale so now see tissue plant tissue plant tissue this was tissue term was coined by bichat the father of plant tissue is known as engrio only now tissues are of two types first is meristematic tissue the tissue which keep on dividing and second is permanent tissue or non dividing tissue is known as permanent tissue now see meristematic tissue are divided into several types on the different basis first of all on the basis of origin on the basis of origin first type of tissue is known as pro meristem which give the primary tissues like primary tissues like all the cells present in the cell first primary meristem this gives pro cambium and cambium cells while secondary meristem is cambium which gives us secondary growth this is found only in dicots because dicots are the only plant which gives secondary growth monocot won't give it normally now on the basis of position we are having different type of tissues meristematic tissue first is apical meristem which is present at the apex second is intercalary which is found at the at the nodes this gives us uh, intercalary meristem gives us internodal growth like this is activated with the help of gibberellin while apical dominance is activated with the help of auxin hormone now lateral meristem this is generally found in dicots and give us secondary growth so this is the classification based on position now classification based on plane of division first of all we are having mass meristem mass meristem is the meristem which which make, makes the division in all directions leading to the formation of clump or mass of cells hence we call it mass meristem second is plate meristem in this we are having the we are having the uh, longitudinal cut due to which it grows in horizontal plane so hence we call it plate meristem now third type is rib meristem in this the columnar growth is found because transverse section is cut and the growth occurs in the vertical plane hence we call it uh, growth occurs in the vertical plane hence we call it rib meristem rib or is also known as file meristem so this were three meristem on the basis of plane of division lastly we classify the meristematic cell on the basis of function as prodom which gives the the external tissues procambium which gives the external region and xylem phloem and ground meristem which gives the cortical region so these are the types of meristem on the basis of different basis now coming to the permanent tissue permanent tissue are those tissues which are non dividing and stops division example <clears throat> example those tissue cells which have just stopped division is known as simple permanent tissue those cells <clears throat> which are complicated because have different types of simple tissues are known as complex meristem complex permanent tissue and those which are secretory in nature are known as special type now coming to the simple permanent there are those meristem tissue which has just stopped the division they are of different type first is parenchyma parenchyma why called so because they are a parental type means as the cell stop division just it is known as parenchyma like prosenchyma prosenchyma the cell which are just non dividing they have intercellular spaces chloenchyma they are green in color they store chlorophyll palisade and spongy parenchyma they are found in leaves they have chlorophyll they perform the function of photosynthesis Aaron chyma they are generally found in hydrophytes they are useful in the giving balance idioblasts are also found in plant and lastly mucilage cells we secrete the secretion of mucilage now colon chyma they are known as semi mechanical tissues why called semi mechanical because they have deposition of pectin and cellulose at the corner hence we call it pectocellulose pectin cellulose is deposition there so there are different types first is angular if deposition is only at corner <coughs> then comes the angular meristem uh, where we have only deposition at uh, angles at corner second type is lacunar where we are having deposition at corners but lacunas are left inside the deposited deposited area hence we call them lacunar in laminar type we are having deposition in form of lamella or plate now last is clon chymata they are complete lignified lignified cells they have deposition of lignin they are a following type first is sclerite 
दे आर कंप्लीट लिग्निफाइड और नोन एज स्टोन सेल्स दे आर लाइक ग्रिट इन गुआवा दे आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्कलेट माइक्रो स्कलेट दे आर बिग बिग स्कलेट एग्जाम्पल दे आर फाउंड इन लेग्यूम्स देन कम्स ऑस्टियो स्कलेट दे आर इन शेप ऑफ बोन हैंस दे आर नोन एज सो दे आर फाउंड इन एंडो कार्प ऑफ दे आर फाउंड इंडो कार्प ऑफ कोकोनट कोकोनट देन कम्स एस्ट्रो स्केलेट दे आर फाउंड इन जेरोफाइट एंड ट्राइको स्केलेट आर फाउंड इन हाइड्रोफाइट सो दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्केलेट विच आर कंप्लीट लिग्निफाइट एंड दे बिकम डेड ड्यू टू डिपोजिशन ऑफ लिग्निन नाउ कमिंग टू कॉम्प्लेक्स पर्माइन टिश्यू इन दिस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिंपल पर्माइन टिश्यूज एक्मलेट एट प्लेस फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज हाइड्रोम और जैलम दे है डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेल फर्स्ट इज ट्रेकिट दे आर नॉन कंडक्टिंग इन केस ऑफ एनजियोस्पम बट दे आर कंडक्टिंग इन जिम्नोस्पम दे आर दे कंडक्ट वाइल जैलम सेल आर एबसेंट इन जिम्नोस्पम बट दे आर प्रेजेंट इन एनजियोस्पम वुड फाइबर्स वुड फाइबर्स आर कंप्लीट लिग्निफाइड डेड फाइबर्स फाउंड इन जैलम विच गिव इट मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेंथ then comes xylem parenchyma they are the only living cell in xylem now <coughs> coming to other type of tissue which is leptom or phloem this phloem are having first cells which are known as sieve tube which conducts the food it is a component by companion cell which performs the function of sieve cell both cells are homologous in origin because they originate from the same mother cell hence they are known so now the companion cell परफॉर्म द मतलब टेक केयर ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ सीफ ट्यूब और सीफ सेल नाउ कम्स फ्लोएम पेरेंटाइम विच आर द ओनली लिविंग पेरेंटाइमेट सेल फॉर्म इन फ्लोएम एंड फ्लोएम फाइबर्स आर आल्सो नोन एज बास्ट फाइबर्स दे जस्ट गिव द स्ट्रेंथ टू द फ्लोएम नाउ लास्ट टाइप ऑफ टिश्यू इज स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सेक्रेटरी टिश्यू इफ देयर इज सेक्रेशन अ सेल ऑफ सेक्रेशन देन आर देयर आर टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज ग्लैंडुलर एंड सेकंड इज लैक्टिफेरस मींस सेक्रेशन ऑफ लैटेक्स इन लैटेक्स सेक्रेशन in a small level the latex cell takes care example we are having in ficus plant while latex vessel there are large secretory cells as found in rubber plant he gives species now if tissue is glandular then glands are of two types external glands and internal glands external glands like glandular hairs nectaries digestive glands example in in this plant in <coughs> insect eating plants internal glands example fine secretory in fine tree we are having oil secretory cells mucilage secretory and water secretory cells hence we are we are having this types of tissue found in plants 